Have you ever thought about dropping your friend through a ceiling to meet Jesus? Um, no. Well, today we're going to learn about four people in the Bible who use loads of creativity to help their friend meet Jesus. But let me start at the beginning. You know this is a video for kids, right? Absolutely! And kids can use loads of creativity to help their friends meet Jesus too. Right, loads of creativity, but hopefully they won't need loads of bandages or ice packs, right? Just listen to what the Bible has to say and stop worrying. Okay, Jesus came to a town called Capernaum and the word got out. They knew what house he was in. Many people wanted to meet Jesus because they'd seen what incredible miracles he'd done. He'd turned water into wine at a wedding. He'd healed people, even ones with diseases that nobody had a cure for. He even cast out evil spirits. And then there was the story about the fish. Yeah, if I knew Jesus was close by, I would definitely want to go see him. That's exactly what a lot of people were thinking. And the Bible says, as soon as people heard about him, there were so many people gathered together that there wasn't room in the house for any more people, not even by the door. They crammed in there to hear Jesus preach. This is where our friends come in. There were four men carrying a man that was sick of the palsy. I think that means that basically the friend was paralyzed. Wow, what if you couldn't move your arms or legs? What if all you could move was your tongue? But the Bible says when they couldn't get to Jesus that they went on the roof and they broke it up and then they let down the bed wherein the man sick of the palsy lay. So they let him through the roof right in front of Jesus. Now that was some dedication. These four people who were trying to help their sick friend were so dedicated that they were willing to break through a roof and drop their friend through a ceiling to meet Jesus. Okay, but to be fair, the Bible says that they let down the bed. Basically, they lowered him from the roof. They didn't drop him through the ceiling. Yeah, I know, that's basically what I said. Um, no, what you said basically gave me a heart attack. Well, however he made it into the packed room, his friends made sure that he made it in front of Jesus. Right? Can you imagine everyone else in that packed room? You're crammed into a room trying to listen to Jesus and suddenly someone just comes through the ceiling. People on the couch must have been like, what? The Bible says, when Jesus saw their faith that he said unto the man sick of the palsy, son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Because Jesus is God, he has the power to forgive sins. But some people didn't believe that Jesus was God. The Bible says, but there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, why doth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? Awkward. Because he is God, Jesus knew what they were thinking in their hearts. And he straight up asked them, why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether it's easier to say to the man sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, arise, take up thy bed and walk. So basically, Jesus asked them which they thought was easier, healing someone with an incurable disease or forgiving sin. Pretty sure only God could do either of those things. Exactly. But then Jesus proved that he has the power to do both. He said to them, but that you may know that the Son of Man has the power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man sick of the palsy, arise, take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house. And immediately the sick man stood up, picked up his bed and went out in front of them. And they were all amazed and glorified God. Can you even imagine? I wonder if those four friends knew that because they helped their one friend, his sins were forgiven, he was healed, and everyone there glorified God. Just like those friends, if you're God's child, you can use creativity to help your friends know Jesus. Maybe not by lowering them through a roof, but by inviting them to church, or telling them about what God's done for you, or showing them in the Bible how they can have their sins forgiven. They basically used what they had to help someone they knew. And you can do that too. This week, you can find someone that you know needs Jesus and use your creativity to safely help them meet Jesus. But it couldn't. Wait, 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 wait. What am I? I'm rolling my eyes at her. Okay, hang on. And use your creativity. Blah, your creativity. Use your creativity. Okay. <clears throat> but it says when they couldn't get to Jesus, blah, 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 he said unto the man sick of the palsy, Son, thy son, thy blah, son, thy sons be forgiven thee. Why reason you these? Blah, blah, this, uh. So basically, Jesus. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Do, 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 do. The end.